The United States is currently fighting two civil wars. One is against this pandemic and the other is against racism. Both are terrible issues and should be eradicated. But they are being hijacked and exacerbated by the deep state to divide and conquer the country. The division is not whether to fight these wars, but how to fight these wars. Should the country compromise our constitutional rights, freedoms, liberties, economy, the right to worship and work, as well as using discrimination to stop racism and to stop the spread of this virus? Wars are terrible and have been always fought to stop those who want to pervert our core values of truth, fairness, sustainability, and integrity. These wars are wars of ideas that have lasting consequences if the core values are compromised. The winner of any war always declares which core values are to be followed. When deciding to fight a war, the price is always less than the cost of not fighting it. There is no limit to what we would pay to keep from losing everything. If one does not care about our core values or if they don't know what they are, they will not pay the price to defend them. If liberals want to destroy our core values in the country and replace them with socialism, they have nothing to lose. Their looting is profitable and fun. This explains the madness that is happening. Not enough people are aware of how close we are to losing our cherished core values upon which our country was built, and radicals are seeing how far they can go before being stopped. This pandemic was sold as something that would kill everyone if we don't shut down the country. The Black Lives Matter movement is being propagandized as every white in the country hating all blacks. These are blatant lies, with the deep state using emotion, fear, hypocrisy, and self-serving agendas to set policy. Social distancing does not save lives. It only slows the demand for hospital beds. The country has been shut down for over four months, with over 120,000 people still dying, of whom 80% were over 65, and the median age was 80. The risk of death for those under 65 is lower than the chance of being killed in a car accident on the way to work. The increase in cases reported are due to the order of magnitude increase in testing, many of whom were say, asymptomatic. The number of deaths has steadily been decreasing since April, with the recovery rate over 98 percent. Since 2017, the national statistics for police killings by race were 1,398 whites and 755 blacks. Any life lost when police are trying to do their job is terrible, but that does not justify riots, looting, burning of flags, or kneeling during the national anthem. To use these incidences that occur twice as often to whites as blacks as evidence that all police are racist is hypocritical with no if evidence of systematic racism found anywhere. This pandemic is natural selection at work, and racism is a problem that only exists in the minds of those who accuse everyone else of it. The deep state is trying to suck us into these battles. The past is past and can't be undone. The only good that came from these demonstrations are the rioters and the protesters were perfect guinea pigs as a control to test the efficacy of social distancing. It is ironic that these riots are undermining the scare tactics used by the deep state to close the country down. This is Keith Kuby wishing you the best in making the world a better place.